When the Vault add-in for AutoCAD is installed, <coughs> several drawings are installed in the uh, root directories that pertain to the Vault revision table just on the outside chance that you decide you're going to use it. So there is usually an inch and metric version of the drawing that contains the block which controls the table itself. Now what I've found is that this is very difficult to find unless you already know where it is and the path to where it's located is pretty convoluted. So in the documentation for this class we're going to show you where that path is but I have found that the best way to find this is simply to go to your Explorer and to do a search on the hard drive where you installed AutoCAD for VAAC. And it should come up because that's about the only file you're going to have in your system with that combination. Now one thing to note about the location where this file is stored is that you should leave it there. If you remove the file from this folder, the next time you start up AutoCAD and use the Vault add-in, it will replace that file in that location and this is the file that will be used when you use the Vault revision table. So if you customize it and move it to a new location, it's still going to go back to the, the original that's being replaced every time you start up the Vault add-in. All right, so you can see we're getting a whole bunch of different uh, vault revision block being found here. I have several for vault 2019 and a couple for vault 2020. This is actually the one that we're looking for here, unless you want to use the metric, which is obviously that one. So I'm going to go to file location, and here is the path that you need to follow in order to find this drawing. So now to modify this and set it up for custom properties, just open it up in AutoCAD. And we're going to go to the Layout tab. Now you will see that this is a block inside of a drawing tab. This is what's going to be loaded every time you use the Vault Revision table. If you want to be able to find it more quickly every time you need to use it, what I would recommend is either add it to your drawing templates or put it onto a tool palette. Otherwise, you just need to make a note of the location so that you can get to it every time you need it. To modify this, we're going to double click to, uh, to get the block editor. We're going to edit the block definition of the rev block. Say OK. Now inside the block is a table. All we need to do, other than resizing these columns to our heart's content, and this is very important, note that the column headers can be changed, but they must be changed to match exactly the column headers that you have set up in Vault for the Vault revision table. So if we jump over to Vault real quick, we can look at those settings, and I have the revision table control head window open. So these column headers that are set up in here, these are the same column headers that you need to use in AutoCAD. If they don't match exactly, you're not going to get the values to synchronize. So let's take a quick note of what these are. Rev by date approved description. Okay, and we're going to try to set these up exactly the same way in AutoCAD. So returning to AutoCAD, we don't need zone. I'm actually going to make this one the rev. I want to put the rev at the beginning. So let's turn on our cap lock. And for my author, that is labeled by. So we're going to change this second column to by. And I think I want to make that a little bit longer. So I'm going to stretch this column out a little bit. That looks like it's probably pretty good. Now I want to have my approved next, so I'm going to jump back to the vault. Let's do the date next, so it matches exactly. So let's do the date. We'll change this header so that it exactly matches. And I think this one's going to be a little too long, so we'll shorten that one up a little bit. Make it look like about the same as the buy. Approved is already in here, but let's make sure the text matches the vault. 
and it does that's already set to approved so we could probably leave that one exactly the way it is and the the size looks pretty good too so we'll leave that one alone now we need to set up the last column which is labeled description again it needs to be exactly the same so we'll edit this header <clears throat> and we'll call this one description now obviously that's going to be way too short for most descriptions so let's go ahead and change the width on this column and we'll make it a little bit longer long enough to get a good size description in and that is it these headers now match exactly the names of the properties and headers that are set up in vault so that when we place this on a drawing and synchronize properties it will know exactly where to place each of the values so let's close the block editor save the changes and then we'll save the drawing now like I mentioned and I, and I don't want to stress this too much you have to leave this drawing in its original location because it will regenerate itself if you remove it and you'll end up using the one that had the standard properties and not your custom properties so if you're going to customize this table remember its location add it to your drawing templates or place it somewhere on a on a tool palette so that you can find it to insert it into your drawings and that concludes this portion of the demo that is customizing the vault revision block for AutoCAD <laughs>